MLB Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's Game 3 of the American League Division Series between the Baltimore Orioles and the New York Yankees. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to our exclusive postseason coverage on MLB Network. With me is Mark DeRosen, Dan Plezak, and Dan. Lots to talk about here as we get ready for Game 3. And you got to figure here in a five-game series, the odds are long for coming back when you're down two games to none. But, hey, it's not impossible. It's been done before, but you can bet the other guys are hungry to end this thing right here and now to give themselves a couple of days off before the next series. This should be a good one. The postseason is officially in full swing. Lineups and first pitch coming up next. crowd is ready to erupt as their guys get set to take the field. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now, your 2018 New York Yankees. Quickly now, we'll look at the two guys who'll get the ball here in game three. And now the starting lineup for the visiting Baltimore Orioles. Dero, what's your take on this lineup as they look to lock up the division series? Matty, I know this team can swing the bat. But one thing I'm focused on, and I think a huge key for this team, is base running. And I'm not necessarily saying stolen bases. Just being aggressive on the base pass, putting the defense on their heels, taking the extra base. Maybe that send from first to home. That's what I'm hoping to see. Masahiro Tanaka gets the ball in game three of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Tanaka right now is the best of all of their starting pitchers. Good fastball, 92 to 94. Best pitch is the split finger. He'll throw it early. He'll throw it often. If he has the good split, these hitters are in for a long night. All right, boys, let's take a look at how the Yankees are setting up on defense today. And let's focus our attention on shortstop Didi Gregorius. Not only has this guy been knighted, yes, they call him Sir Didi back in his homeland, Curacao. He's one of the best ball players coming down the pike, starting with Andrew Jones, Xander Bogarts, and it's Didi Gregorius' time. Hits from the left side of the plate with power and the ability to go in the hole with one of the strongest arms in the game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fly ball out toward left center field. Frazier sprinting after it. He's got it one away. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. In past meetings with Tanaka, he's got five base hits in 18 at-bats. He's also hit a couple of home runs against him. Tapper up the line. Throw just in time, and oh, that was awfully close. Batting third, George Brown. Manny. So striding forward now, Manny Machado. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. First offering on its way. And he gives this one a pretty good ride down the left field line. And foul, though it had the home run distance. Machado now on 0 and 1. Swing and a line drive, but this will be foul. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted high and deep into the second deck and gone.
It's a solo home run off the bat of Manny Machado. His second home run of the series. As the O's are on the board first, it's one to nothing. I can tell you one thing. You might get away with throwing a ball in that location in the minor leagues, but when you get one up like that in the zone right over the plate against these guys, you're going to get exactly what he got. A really bad result. Here's Chris Davis now. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Hey, I know there's a lot of game left, but that is such an important run there in the top of the first. Try and silence this crowd. I can't tell you in postseason play, one run feels like three or four. Lifted the other way to left center. And Stanton will put this one away, and the inning is over. A real strike for one on the home run by Machado. Bottom of the first coming up, and Baltimore has the early 1-0 lead. With that, it's time to check out the starting lineup for the hometown Yankees. How do they go about staying alive in this one, D-Row? Well, Matt, when we drove over to the ballpark today, we were expecting some offensive firepower, especially in this yard. It's a hitter's yard, but that could sometimes work against them. I'm interested to see what lineup stays within themselves and executes and manufactures to get this W. Ramirez is on the mound, and he'll look to wrap up this division series. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard soft. You can go in and out. And any time you have four pitches, if you can throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. Okay, here's how the birds line up today on defense. And let's shine the light on shortstop Manny Machado. That's right, shortstop. He can play third. He can play short. It doesn't matter. He's one of the best defenders in the game. Leading off for the Yankees. Designated hitter. First Bradley. delivery to him Bradley. on the way. Now a bunt attempt here. But the throw's a good one as they get Gardner trying to beat one out. That is second. Third baseman. Brandon Drury. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Yeah. Takes a knee-high fastball. And set up behind the plate, Rusty Valentine, as you see the rest of the umpiring crew for this one. Hey, you know, d Rusty Valentine, he's known for having a high and a low strike zone, but... He's pretty good east and west. You better keep it on the corners. Yeah, I'm okay with Rusty's zone, Having without done. question. You know he's right going to elevate. It's north-south, so you're aware of it. As a veteran player, you can live with that. Here's big Aaron Judge looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. In there, and it's 0-1. Here's a perfect situation. Two outs, base is empty, power hitter at the plate. He ain't looking for a single and hoping to pass the baton. This guy's looking to do damage. And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers. It remains one nothing. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Oh, what a pitch to start the at bat there. It's nothing in one. In past meetings with Tanaka, he has nine base hits in 37 tries. He's also taken him deep six times, so there's some ownage in this matchup. And it's 0 and 2 to Scope. Scope is undoubtedly one of the best hitters in baseball, especially against right handed pitching. Tends to hit for both power and average, so he's certainly a big threat 
in matchups like these. Yeah, you can tell. He is just super confident against right-handed guys. I, I, You know, sometimes it's coincidence. Sometimes it's you don't see many lefties, Matty. The bottom line is 75% of the time there's a right-hander on the mound, and this guy finds barrel consistently. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And a whiff at a good slider that time. Hey, boys, you talk about getting your A swing off. That's what it looks like right there. A guy with massive power letting it eat. And Jones takes this one for a ball, one and one. Orioles out to an early one nothing lead here in inning number two. Sinker misses that time, and it's two and one. You know, what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. On a good pitch there, had him stretch him to get out there, and it's two and two now. Ugly swing right there. That pitch wasn't even close. You could tell this guy's been in the swing mode from the minute he walked into the batter's box. A full count now for the Orioles center fielder. After two breaking pitches, there's a pretty good chance right now you're probably going to get something right in the middle of the strike zone to swing at. So if you're looking... Uh-oh, hold that thought as this one is deep down the line and left hooking, but it's a fair ball home run. A solo shot here for Adam Jones. His second home run of the series as the Orioles are now out to a 2-0 lead. Well, he's definitely off to a shaky start tonight, giving up two home runs in two innings. The good news is they were both solo shots. The bad news is the rest of the lineup is salivating in the dugout, waiting for their chance to face him. Stepping in now, Tim Beckham. Tim Beckham. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. Into the corner and slicing foul. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Missed with a slider. I have no issue wasting a pitch on 0-2 to try to get a guy to go fishing, but it has to be somewhat tempting. You're not going to get anyone to swing at a bat at that pitch. And he chased it in the dirt. Sanchez finds it. And the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. Stepping in, Colby Rasmus. In past meetings with Tanaka, he's got two hits in 18 at-bats. He's taken him deep once. Splitter swung on and missed 0-1. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a liner. But this won't get over the second baseman's glove as he's got it to end the inning. Orioles get one on the home run by Adam Jones. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's now 2 0 Baltimore. Now at the plate, Giancarlo Stanton. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. No balls and a strike to count. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Tough one to lay off, called a strike. Now a swing and a miss, and Stanton is down on strikes for round number one. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Standing in now, Gary Sanchez. As with one away, he can't make contact on the first pitch. It's strike one. One out, nobody on. This is on the ground over the first. And that's through for a hit. Ah. 
batting fifth. Second baseman, Neil Walker. Here's Neil Walker. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. First pitch on its way. Swing and a little tapper. Sanchez stands at first with one out. Swing and a miss as Walker's in a hole here. No balls and two strikes. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. Here's Miguel Andujar now as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Two out with the man at first. Too high. One and two. Boy, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, you have to make sure it's up above the zone like that. He can't do a whole lot with that, but if it were a little lower, he can and will make you pay big time. Tried to stay back on the change up there, but this is chopped foul at home plate. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. When a pitch is close to working through a quick inning, that's when you a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. One left for the Yankees. They're still down. It's 2 nothing. Standing in, Andrew Susak. As we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Frazier will slot over and put this one away. And that's out number one. How about Austin Hayes the next to bat. He flied out leading off the ball game. Grounder down the line at third. And there's out number two. Now batting. Left fielder. Trey Mancini. Riding in once again, Trey Mancini. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Fly ball out toward left center field. Moving under it, Frazier. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. One, two, three, go the Orioles as they're unable to add to their 2 nothing lead. Digging in, Clint Frazier. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. Clint Frazier. Here's the pitch. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. And he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And a swing and a miss as he picks up yet another strikeout. Six of them already. And there's one gone in the inning. Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there. The straight changeup. He hadn't used it yet in this at bat. And what does he do? He uses it, pulls the string, and gets the big strikeout. Here's Didi Gregorius. As he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe. Bases are empty, one man out. And it's one and one. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. Nope. I'm trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Jones is under it. Two gone. Now back. Here's Brett Gardner now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Right over the middle, knee high. Two out, nobody on.
Ready with another 0 2. And a good two strike swing here as he's been fighting off some tough pitches, but the count will remain at 0 2. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. So the Yanks go 1 2 3. They trail it here 2 to nothing. Here's Manny Machado now. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Strike one to start the at bat. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Here's a splitter that's taken for a ball 1 and 1. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. Now a dive, but he can't get there, and this is going to be trouble out there in left center. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Well, it's always daunting to know that you've got to deal with the three, four, five hitters to start out an inning, but even more so when the three hitter starts it out with a double. Yeah, he's going to have to start making some good pitches to get out of this thing. Job number one is to get the next guy, and ideally, you keep him from advancing the runner to third with less than two outs. At the plate, Chris Davis. He flew out in his last at bat. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Lying toward the gap in left center, and that's in there. Base hit. And they'll put the brakes on at third. Runners at the corners with nobody out. Hey, this has the makings of being a pretty big inning. d lead leadoff double, now a base hit, and all of a sudden we're looking at first and third. Yeah, sometimes you wake up and just get smacked in the mouth right here. He's going to have to start executing pitches. He cannot leave a ball over the heart of the plate right here. He's going to have damage on his hands. Here's Jonathan Scope now. Hit pretty well out toward right center field. Frazier is after it. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first down. And that'll bring home run number three. It's now a 3 nothing cushion. Great job there by this power hitter. Known for driving the ball out of the ballpark. Does the job right there with the sack fly and brings the run home. One out now in the Orioles' fourth. And standing in the fine center fielder, Adam Jones. From the stretch. Liner towards second. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. But he'll just get the one out here as the runner will get back safely at first. It's really important to be a second baseman and have some athletic ability. And how about this right here? He goes up high to snag this line drive that was definitely headed to the outfield for a base hit. First pitch on its way. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Judge is under it, and that retires the side. It's a run on two hits here for Baltimore. To the bottom of inning number four we go. Baltimore's out in front, three to nothing. Stepping into the box, Brendan Drury. Leading off the fourth inning, third baseman. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Right on the corner, a fastball that he takes for a strike. Hey, he's rolling so far in this one as we head in to the middle part of this game. How about 90% of his first pitches have been for strikes? If he continues to do that, he just might finish this one. And he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. I think we're starting to see the frustration mount from this offense. It's been a pretty dominant performance on the mound, and these hitters have had no answer for anything he's throwing up there. That will wear on you if it lasts throughout most of the game like it has here. Here's big Aaron Judd. They still get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. Judge, who fittingly gets the nickname All Rise, it was selected in the first round back in the draft of 2013. Yeah, Matt, you cannot miss on your first rounder. 
and they didn't with this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Wow, talk about being efficient. How about six pitches, two strikeouts? Doesn't get much better than that. Giancarlo Stanton now. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. Swung on and missed, outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Oh, man, he's got a chance to strike out the side on nine pitches. Seven down, two to go. And that finds the target, nothing in two now. And there's number eight, one away. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ballgame, and the inning is over. So add one more name to the record book here as he strikes out the side on nine pitches. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Ready for another chance? Colby Rasmus hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0 and 1. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Swing and a liner. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Dan, how hard is it to massage your way through such a deep lineup? I mean, even the eight, nine hole hitters are solid big league players. You know, Mark, these days you're not seeing a lot of defensive specialists in the infield or outfield. If you're in that starting lineup these days, there's a pretty good job you could swing the bat. He's set and the pitch. On a line to shortstop, and the runner gets back. No double play. Now batting, the designated hitter, Austin. Ready for another shot now, Austin Hayes. 0 for 2 with a fly ball and a ground out on his line to this point. First pitch of the at bat on its way. High in the air into shallow left center. Frazier is there and he makes the catch for the out. Stepping into the box, Trey Mancini. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. He's set, here it comes. Big swing by Mancini now, and this is carrying well to left. And it's gone. It's a two run shot to straight away left his second home run of the series as the Orioles have opened things up now five to nothing. Hey that's one of the toughest parts about standing out there on the bump giving up a long home run or giving up a bomb at any time as a pitcher you just have to regroup and get back on that horse. Here's Manny Machado now. Manny Machado. As he rips it on the ground to second. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. But the Orioles strike for two thanks to the two-run home run. Bottom of the fifth coming up. It's the Orioles five and the Yankees nothing. Leading off for the Yankees, Patrick Gary Sanchez. First pitch on its way. Right over the middle, knee high. This is line to left. Mancini is there, and he makes the catch for the out. 
A little bit over halfway home tonight, bottom of the fifth, as we get a look at our line score to this point. And boy, just one hit for these guys, and they have not swung the bats well. That's putting it mildly. At the plate, Neil Walker. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. up and the 0-2 pitch dribbled to the right side that winds up foul the next 0-2 stays alive still 0-2 again another foul ball no runs just one hit and no errors for the Yankees so far this is hit the other way out toward left field. Mancini moves over. Two down. Now batting. Here's Miguel Andujar now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First offering on its way. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. Well, he's done a great job on the hill throughout this game, and it's something to be proud of anytime you can pitch a good game in this ballpark especially when it's not your home ballpark. This now is hit the second. Does he have another 1-2-3 inning? You bet he does. 11 in a row set down, and the inning is over. 1-2-3 go the Bombers. They can't chip into that 5-0 deficit. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Chris Davis. Last time through was a base hit. He's ready. Here's the first offering. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. The second baseman, number six, Jonathan Scope. Here's Jonathan Scope now. It was an RBI sack fly for him last time through. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And right into the shift. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. 0-1 is a splitter that misses for the first ball. If you're going to have success against some of the better hitters in the game, you've got to get that pitch right there. 0-2, he's almost certainly out. 1-1, he's got a chance to really do some damage popped up and he'll squeeze this one for the second out. Now batting number 10, center fielder Adam Jones. Ready now, Adam Jones. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Line drive to left. Stanton is there and it's a very quick inning as the side is retired. So they go down without a whimper here. We'll see eight, nine, and one do up in the bottom of inning number six. It's the Orioles five and the Yankees nothing. At the plate, Clint Frazier will start things out in their half of the sixth the as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One get through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced? Other than it's been fantastic. We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. Swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Oh, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's his wind-up. I don't know if it's just flat stuff. But he's getting a lot of swings outside the zone, and he's having a big game. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing okay, strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? What's even more impressive, no walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. Here's Didi Gregorius. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The wind up and the 0-1. 
Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. No runs, just one hit, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Uh, he's just rolling right now, and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. I'll tell you right now, this guy has a shutout going, and it's been all business. He's not messing around trying to pick at corners. He's being aggressive in the zone, and he's attacking each and every one of these hitters up to this point. Digging in once again, Brett Gardner. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Boy, they've been just getting shut down right here. Been a while since they've even had a runner on. So I think it's time to start looking for ways. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Make it six shutout innings as he continues to give them fits out there. On to the seventh now in game three. It's the Orioles five and the Yankees nothing. Back here in the Bronx. On to the seventh now in game three, but before it gets underway, we take a look at our game summary through the first six. Tommy Kingley is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 48, Tommy Kingley. Standing in, Tim Beckham. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Third baseman, number one, Tim Beckham. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Walker over to his left. Looks it into his glove. And there's one gone. Now batter. Right fielder. Colby Rasmus. Into the box now. Colby Rasmus. He's one for two in this one. First pitch of the at bat. And it's fouled away. One out, nobody on. Pulled toward right center field. Frazier has it in his tracks. He's got it, and there are two down now. Up next for the Orioles. Into the box, Andrew Susak. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Stanton giving chase. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Orioles down on just four pitches, but they hold a 5 nothing lead. Next for New York, Brandon Drury. He'll start things out here in the bottom of inning number seven. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. Into the box now, Aaron Judge. And she'll take strike one on the inside corner. Textbook pitching performance so far in this one as we move into the later innings. First pitch strikes, how about over 90%? That's about as good as it gets. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. Matt, just about everything he's doing is working. All of his pitches, great command, great location. And the big key, with two strikes, he's attacking the zone. In now, Giancarlo Stanton. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Oh, and it looks like a visit to the video room may be in order after that hack. It's 0-2 now. 
I know we want to focus on the offense and how bad they've been so far, but can we give some? Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Jonathan Holder has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 65, Jonathan Holder. Austin Hayes the next to bat. He struggled at the top of the lineup in this one, hitless to this point. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. Hit in the air out to left. Stanton has a read on it. One down. Now batting, left and here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Chopped weakly to the left. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. So you can mark that one down as an E5, and I bet he'd like to have that one over. Coming to the plate now, Manny Machado. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim last time. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Did high and deep out to straightaway left. Back goes Stanton. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Now this is cut and thrown to first. On to first, a double play. So no runs or hits here as the error turns out to be unimportant. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Orioles lead it five to nothing. Now to the plate, Gary Sanchez. He starts off the inning against the guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. And it's 0 oh and 2 to Sanchez. Classic case right there of an off speed pitch, and that hitter's eyes lit up, and that front shoulder went flying. He's got to find a way to keep that thing tucked and play with the big part of the field. There's a look at the final line for the Orioles starter. And he really delivered a fantastic postseason performance. Digging in the switch hitter, Neil Walker. In there, strike one. Great spot with that pitch down and away. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep hitting that spot. 0-2 oh count, here's the pitch. He strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Here's Miguel Andohar now. Two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 oh now. Hey, from an offensive standpoint, you better get it ready. This guy is not throwing a ton of pitches. He's confident in his stuff. He's pounding the zone. He's got two quick outs. You better pull the trigger. Count still at one and two. Another one-two delivery. And he struck him out. So a fine inning here as he strikes out the side in order. So the Yanks go one, two, three. Need to get it going soon. It's five nothing. Wow, the beautiful views of Manhattan at night. Welcome back to this MLB Network broadcast from right here in the Big Apple. Kevin Segrist enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Coming to the plate now, Chris Davis. He's working on a one for three thus far. With this one almost in books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d -Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. First pitch of the at-bat. Hit in the air out to straightaway left. Under it now is Stanton to make the catch, and there are two away now. Now batting number 10, center fielder Adam Jones. Digging in, Adam Jones. 
He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh, this is hit high and deep out to left. Back goes Stanton. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Orioles down on just four pitches as they're unable to add to their 5 nothing lead. Digging in now, Clint Frazier. He'll lead it off with his guys needing a ninth inning rally here if they're going to force a game four. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. One and one that counts to Clint Frazier. Hit well on the ground to first. And he'll step on first and south to the out. Now batting. The shortstop, Didi. Here's Didi Gregorian. He flew out his first time around and then was a strikeout victim most recently. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now 0 and 2. Swing and a little blooper to center. Coming in is Jones. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Brett Gardner. And their season hangs in the balance here as they're down to their final out. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. He struck him out, and that'll do it as they've won this series, so they'll move on. Well, they know their work is nowhere close to being finished, but they've handled their business so far, winning here to punch their ticket to the ALCS and a possible trip to the World Series. Well done. Well, we watched a really solid starting pitching performance, kept the opposition at bay, and as a result, he's our top player of the game. Well, you know he wants that one pitch back that led to the lone hit, but it was pretty awesome watching him do his thing. He had guys off balance and flailing at the plate all game long, so he really was the story. For the left-hander Dan Plezak, Mark DeRosa, and our entire crew, this is Matt Vaskersian. This has been the American League Division Series. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Orioles. Five